People in the market for a new vehicle are expecting limited choices and higher prices. New research from Kelly Blue Book finds three out of four prospective car buyers are familiar with the global microchip shortage and its impact on the new vehicle market. That's driving the tight supply. The good news for auto dealers, more than 60% of consumers are not planning on delaying their vehicle purchase. Fuel is flowing again through the Colonial Pipeline, but it could take several days before supplies return to normal. The national average price for a gallon of gas now sits at nearly $3.03. Elise Preston has the latest from New York. Drivers are still lining up to get gas in parts of the southeast, even though the Colonial Pipeline is now open again. We just now got a delivery. We got 4,000 gallons, and it'll be gone in about an hour. Some people waited hours to fill up. Trying to just get some before I run out of gas so I can get come to work. The main fuel pipeline for the East Coast was reopened Wednesday night, but company officials say it could take a few days before supplies return to normal. President Biden addressed the situation from the White House. I want to be clear, we'll not feel the effects uh, at the pump immediately. This is not like flicking on a light switch. This pipeline is 5,000. 500 miles long. According to Gas Buddy, North Carolina is getting hit hardest, with 74% of its stations facing outages. Half of the stations are out in Georgia, and it's even higher in South Carolina and Virginia. The six day disruption created higher demand and pushed up prices across the country, with many people rushing out to top off their tanks. There is fuel available. It's just when everybody's buying it at the same time due to hysteria, then uh, it creates gaps in the supply chain, and that's just what we're seeing here. Colonial has declined to say whether it paid a ransom to the Russian hackers who crippled their computer systems. In a statement, the company said safety was its primary focus and that it would conduct a comprehensive series of pipeline safety assessments. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. President Biden has signed an executive order months in the making to strengthen the country's cybersecurity defensives. A new study shows screening may not actually prevent deaths from a certain type of cancer. Details when Valley News Live at 4 continues.